Okay, so in this video we want to look at first examples of double integrals. So let's look at this one here. So we want to evaluate the integral, uh, the double integral of x plus 2y over the region bounded between these two parabolas. So the first step is to always sketch the region of integration. So let's, let's draw an axis here and the parabolas we're going to need to draw uh, well firstly 2x squared roughly looks like this and 1 plus x squared looks like this okay so of course we're looking at this region here so we need to calculate these intersection points it's given by setting the two parabolas equal to each other. If we take x squared over here, we get x squared is equal to 1. So x is plus or minus 1. Now the trick for evaluating these double integrals is to first have the double integral having, uh, the, the outside integral having constant bounds, while the inside integral having variable bounds. What do I mean by that? Well, we can either go from x or y. I like to have x having the constant bounds. So x is going to be from minus 1 to positive 1. Because remember, we're going from here to here, and this is minus 1, and this is 1. Now we need variable bounds. So in the y direction, we're going to bound the curve by a variable. The lower, the lower curve is 2x squared. The upper curve is 1 plus x squared. So what we'll have as the variable bounds are 2x squared and then 1 plus x squared. Then we have our usual integrand of x plus 2y. And then I'm going to, this first integral is evaluated with respect to y because, because the bounds are given in terms of x, the final integral has to be a dx integral. So now we just evaluate this in the usual way. So we have the outside integral is left alone and we integrate with respect to y. So we'll end up with xy plus y squared. And this is bounded between 2x squared and 1 plus x squared. So now we just put these bounds in. I'll get minus 1 to 1. I'll have x. 1 plus x squared plus 1 plus x squared squared and then minus I'll have x 2x squared minus again or what we can do instead is put a minus out the front of these and then have 2 sorry 1 plus x squared first then to yes no that's right uh, 2x squared squared and this is all dx and let's just use this space up here to simplify the integrand so what do I have I've got x plus x cubed plus 1 plus x squared squared is 1 plus 2x squared plus x to the 4 and now I'm going to minus here we have 2x cubed and here I get 4x to the 4 so let's just write that in a more condensed form what I'll end up with is minus 3x to the 4 uh, the only cubic terms are x cubed minus 2x cubed so I'll end up with a minus x cubed the quadratic terms are only given by this 2x squared. There's only one x term and only one constant term. So what this integral ends up becoming is the integral from minus 1 to 1 of minus 3x to the 4 minus x cubed plus 2x squared plus x plus 1 dx and now we just evaluate this in the usual way 
what I'll end up with is minus 3 on 5 x to the 5 then minus 1 on 4 x to the 4 plus 2 on 3 x cubed plus x squared on 2 plus x evaluated between minus 1 and 1. Notice a very useful thing here. The region is symmetric about the y-axis. So the area of this side is the same as the area on this side. So what I can do is I can break up this integral. I only have to evaluate half of it and then double it. So that's what I'll do here. So instead of having the bounds being minus 1 and, and 1, I'll put a 0 here and then have twice of this. So what I end up with the area being, so let's look at the area um, or the volume, whatever you want to interpret it as, uh, will be 2 times minus 3 on 5 minus 1 on 4 plus 2 thirds plus 1 half plus 1 and you can check that this is 32 on 15. Notice it's much easier to put a zero here because there's no constant in this integral. Everything has an x, so all the terms go away. That's why it's much more convenient to notice the symmetry of the region of integration. And this is the final answer there. So let's look at another example. So find the volume of the solid that lies under the paraboloid z equals x z equals x squared plus y squared over the region bounded by y equals 2x and y equals x squared. Let's do the same thing. We always sketch the region of integration first. So let's do that again. So we have y equals 2x. That's some line that looks maybe something like this, which I'll make a different color for convenience. Let's make it some red color. And then I'll have x squared looking something like this. So if we evaluate the integral, we want the integral to be evaluated over this region here. So as we did before, we need to calculate the intersection points. So if x squared is 2x, then x squared minus 2x equals 0. Then x, is a x times x minus 2 equals 0. So this point here is x equals 2, and this point here is obviously x equals 0. Now as before, we need to have uh, the outside integral having constant bounds, and the inside integral having variable bounds. I always like the x integral to be uh, the one with constant bounds, so we'll have an integral from 0 to 2. The lower curve is given by x squared. The upper curve is given by 2x. And our region of, or our integrand is x squared plus y squared. And I have dy dx. And we just proceed as we did before. So I've got the integral from 0 to 2. The integral of x squared with respect to y is x squared y. And then I'll have a 1 third y cubed then x squared 2x dx. So this is integral from 0 to 2. Put the 2x in. I get 2x cubed plus 1 third 2x to the power of 3 minus, put in the x squared term in, I get x to the 4 plus 1 third x squared cubed dx. Now what is this? We have integral 0 to 2, 2x cubed. I'll have an 8x cubed over 3 minus x to the 4. Then I'll have, this becomes x to the 6, so minus 1 third x to the 6 dx. And I can simplify the fraction here, but I'm not too worried. So what we end up with is 
x to the 4 over 2 plus uh, 2 on 3 x to the 4 minus x to the 5 over 5 minus 1 on 21 x to the 7 and this is between 0 and 2. Since we have a 0 here we don't have to actually put that in because we'll just get a 0. So now I just need to evaluate 2 to the 4 over 2 plus 2 to the 5 over 3 minus 2 to the 5 over 5 minus 1 over 21 2 to the 7 and you can convince yourself that this is 216 over 35. Okay, so uh, remember the fundamental idea is to have the outside integral having constant bounds, the inside integral having variable bounds, and just evaluate as normal. I really encourage you to draw the region of integration prior to doing any calculations and uh, be sure to check the uh, either tutorial notes or the math 2021 notes for this material as I am including summaries of the courses uh, of the course as we proceed. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the like button. And if you want to see more of this content, uh, please consider subscribing. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next video.